Hello everyone, um, today I want to show you how I found a solution to mount uh, two tubes such as this one on my motorcycle exploiting the um, pannier rack obviously without getting in the way of the panniers and uh, uh, so I would like to show you how um, I came, how, how I did it so that you can also get inspiration in case you are thinking of uh, either buying uh, one of these uh, or uh, you already have one and you're asking yourself how to mount it on your motorcycle. Um, these tool tubes are available online in many different uh, online shops. They are quite cheap, they are quite good, very strong and uh, uh, they contain a fair amount of tools as well. I've uh, wanted one for quite a while and now I've got it and uh, it just came as you see it and then I had to find a way to uh, stick it on my bike in a safe way. Um, so let's get started. Uh, you will need two uh, cup, uh, square cup bolts, okay, size depending. You will need two washers of the same size as the uh, cup bolt. You will need four uh, bolts. Um, again, size depends uh, on the on the um, on the size of the uh, threads on your um, bike clamp. But you will need four of these, two per each clamp. You will need two clamps, such as this one. Size sizes may vary depending also on the uh, size of your pannier rack and diameter of it and finally you will need two um, strips of leather that you can uh, s salvage from a, an old uh, leather belt right so how do all of this fits together on the actual tool tube okay so the first thing is the um, square cup bolt um, this one is, uh, is going to attach itself straight onto the, uh, onto the mounts. Now, as I said before, these holes are um, roughly a size 8 in diameter. The bolt that I found that is then compatible with my clamp uh, is size 10. So what I had to do is with a drill, uh, I had to just slightly enlarge the two holes that I was going to use. So I only really used this central hole and then obviously this hole on this side. So I had to make them a little bit larger and then this type of bolt okay, has at its base, at the base of the thread, it has a square shape okay, which is slightly larger than the thread itself. So now this one obviously was going to interfere with my you know, bolt, not letting it go all the way down. It is very important that the bolt goes all the way down into the uh, mounting, let's say, um, edge. Because, and this is the other reason also why I use the, uh, this type of bolt with a, with a fairly flat head, it is because otherwise the top, the cap, wouldn't have screwed on. Okay, so the bolt, a normal bolt head, would have interfered with my with my um, cover. Okay, this one or also touches actually, but it doesn't really affect um, uh, the operation of the cap negatively. Okay, so it is still easy to screw on, as you can see. So the idea is that what I did. To make sure that this would go all the way through, I just enlarged the hole as I said and then I just basically passed a lighter over it, passed a lighter over it, just made it hot, okay, and then just pushed this through to impress that square shape of the bottom part of the thread onto the um, right, once this is mounted, once you have inserted the, the actual bolt, then you have to simply insert, I, I put the, the uh, washer on it this way, and then I screwed on the, the uh, 
the uh, clamp okay and uh, finally uh, yeah at this point then this could be mounted on i won't mount it on now because obviously i need to first attach it to the pannier rack on the other side i did exactly the same thing so i've got this got my washer and i've got my other clamp it can be tightened quite well also because this will simply push the um, the square bit of the of the big bolt in a bit into the plastic which obviously has no negative effect on, on the assembly all right so there's quite snug on so that's what it looks like as soon as it's mounted it's very very solid it's super strong and uh, um, next i'm going to show you how this then gets mounted on the rack okay so uh, now we're ready to mount the tube onto the um, uh, pannier rack and uh, um, the way that it will fit in my case because of the type of rack that i've got is one will attach one of the um, brackets will attach here and uh, the other one will be attached here on this um, other pipe okay so um, before i do this i am going to position the the two um, pieces of leather roughly in the area where uh, they will be uh, fit and uh, afterwards I can simply see I've got one of the bolts in each uh, of them and then afterwards I'm just gonna position it and make sure maybe I'm gonna come a bit closer make sure that the we are in the right spot i'm going to place the other um, bolt on the other side okay so i've inserted the the bolt on this side and uh, it's just a matter of tightening it you will notice that this bolt is slightly different from this one it's got the same size just a slightly different head so it doesn't really change anything and it's good to tighten them like you know um, a little bit you know at a time each without tightening only one and then going to the other to, you know to you know basically to stabilize okay so now this side is fully tightened and uh, you might have noticed that i have also added uh, another element i didn't show you earlier this is just a, a nut a size six like this bolt and you know it's just a, an extra safety that you can basically um, put here just to allow you know just to give an extra bit of you know, safety to the whole um, construction here we go doesn't really have to be too tight okay so here on this side is already very tight and this thing is not going anywhere okay it hardly even rolls it doesn't even roll uh, sideways now this is not even tightened yet i'm going to tighten it now and then i'm going to show you the final result okay so this is the final result um, it is attached very strongly to the rack um, and um, yeah so this system really works for me uh, the leather ensures that there is isolation between the two metals, the, this and this metal, and um, you know absorbs vibrations. And uh, yeah, it really does work for me. It doesn't move almost at all, and uh, that's what it looks like. So it's pretty much perfectly in line with the with the pannier rack. This doesn't get in the way of absolutely anything. Uh, not the wheel, not the pannier, nothing. So it's a really uh, nice spot for me to place the tool tube and uh, yeah that's 
pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, you took some inspiration. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments and uh, I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thank <laughs> you.